Hello, writers. Welcome back. Now, let's pick up where we left off last week, my loves. We reviewed what an expository essay is. We created a mind map, and we've been interviewing someone in our life who is special to us, finding out more information. So that is where we are going to uh, pick up to. Now, specifically, what we are going to do today is to use our details from our interviews and mind maps to create a whole introduction paragraph. Exciting. Now, scholars, this is your prompt for your writing, what your introduction and your essays are, your essay is going to be about. Learn this prompt, love this prompt, memorize this prompt, always come back to this because this is what your essay should always go back to. Take a second to pause and read it over. Now I want you to notice those two bolded words at the very, very bottom, the last line. It says, write about someone special in your life. Explain what makes them special to you and how they have affected your life, scholars. This is going to be your job. And we're going to do this with a little bit of help. Now, CER is going to help us write our introduction paragraph. The C stands for claim, the E stands for evidence, and the R stands for reasoning. Your claim is describing who the special person is in your life. Your evidence are your details you learned about them, and your reasoning is how those details support your claim. Okay, let's break this down one by one to really understand this. Now, a claim. A claim is an answer to the question. Scholars, in this prompt, your question is asking, who is someone special in your life? Take a second to pause and read my answer to this question. All right, now the second part of your introduction uh, paragraph is to include evidence. Evidence scholars, again, they're just details from your interview and from your mind map. Since you might have a lot, I want you to just choose two, two facts that you learned from interviewing your person to prove why they're so special. Now, scholars, the last part of your introduction paragraph is your reasoning. This one can be a little tricky, but just think of it as the glue that holds together your paragraph. How does your evidence connect to your claim? How does the fact that you told us about your special person show us why they're so special? All right, now that was a quick one, but we have learned about CER. Remember, scholars, this is a video that you can rewind, you can pause, you can fast forward, replay as many times as you need to really understand what CER is. You're going to use this method to write your introduction paragraph. Good luck. Can't wait to read.